Before you start moving or cutting with your new buddy, you'll need to make sure you have a good understanding of the buddy's coordinate system, the X, Y, and Z axis, and which way they all move. You'll also need to know where the default home position is, the 000 location that most of your files will be referenced from. This way there won't be any surprises when you start moving the tool around, cutting out parts, or creating your own part files. We'll start getting oriented by standing at the front of the tool, with the table rails running from left to right and the large main beam that your router or spindle moves on running from front to back. The table rolls from side to side during x-axis movements. The y-axis moves from front to back along the main beam and the z-axis moves up and down vertically from the table surface. Let's take a closer look at these movements one by one. To understand positive and negative moves, we first need to define where our home position is, the zero location for all the axis movements. By default, it's in this location and can be easily and accurately set using the zeroing routines that are included in the ShopBot software. You can read up on the process in your ShopBot manual. Viewed from the home position, a positive x-axis move would make a cut from left to right in your material by moving the rolling table from right to left. And a negative x-axis move would roll the table from left to right. For a positive y-axis move, the YZ car will roll along the main beam from front to back and a negative Y move from back to front. Finally, a positive Z axis move lifts vertically from the table surface and a negative Z axis move plunges down toward the table. Once you're familiar with these basic movements and how your buddy is laid out, you're ready to move it around and get to work.